हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड दिस लेक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू कंटिजेंसी क्रॉप प्लानिंग फॉर एवर एंड वेदर कंडीशन इन रैनफेड एरियाज सो दिस टर्म्स शुड बी क्लियर सो देर इज अ लेक्चर फॉर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंटिजेंसी क्रॉप प्लानिंग प्लीज वॉच दिस लेक्चर एंड इट इज अवेलेबल इन द प्ले लिस्ट रैनफेड एग्रीकल्चर सो फर्स्ट प्लीज watch this lecture about the concept so first learn what is the concept and this uh, contingency crop planning is very important for renfed areas because whenever there is aberrant weather condition it is very difficult to manage the uh, situation or handle the condition while in the case of irrigated areas if rainfall is less we can give irrigation so we can manage the inputs and other things but in case of renfed areas uh, management is very difficult Uh, particularly moisture conservation and uh, aberrant weather conditions are very common so that's why we make uh, a alternate plan so that uh, our crop productivity is maintained and we can uh, produce some food and fodder so such type of plan is contingency plan so contingency planning is very important for uh, aberrant weather condition and this uh, aberrant weather condition may be of different type Um, and particularly very common aberrant weather condition is our country is related to monsoon which is responsible for rainfall so this rainfall is certain monsoon is certain but behavior is erratic how much would be the rainfall kitni barish hogi kisi ko nahi pata kab dry spell aayega sukha padega baad aayegi kisi ko nahi pata hota to jab ye situation aati hai aur inko handle karna hota hai to hame apna plan change karna hota hai is change plan ko hi hum contingency crop planning kehte hain so contingency crop planning is modification in कल्टिवेशन प्रैक्टिसेस टू ओवरकम द एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी ऑफ वेदर कंडीशन सो दिस इज दंटीजेंसी क्रॉप प्लानिंग एंड द अदर एवरेंट कंडीशन मे बी हॉट वेव कोल्ड वेव साइक्लोन्स हिल स्ट्रॉम फ्लड एट्सेट्रा बट द अक्रेंस इज वेरी लेस बट द वेरी कॉमन आर रिलेटेड विद द रेनफॉल दैट्स वाई वी मेक कंटीजेंसी क्रॉप प्लानिंग टू कंजर्व द सॉल मॉइस्चर नॉट फॉर कंजर्व द मॉइस्चर टू to adjust the crop planning with the rainfall uh, pattern and the amount so this is very uh, location specific actual there is a variability in rainfall from location to location so that's why when we make a contingency crop plan it is very location specific it cannot be executed over a large area it depends upon what is the problem in that area what is the uh, weather condition accordingly this crop planning is made and executed so it is highly location specific and there may be different uh, aberrant weather condition and in our country major aberrant weather condition are related with the monsoon so this monsoon uh, condition may be uh, delayed monsoon maybe dry spell uh, maybe early withdraw or maybe extended monsoon so these are different type of uh, aberrant weather condition so i am making the column or uh, different type of weather condition and what is the problem and what is the contingency crop planning so suppose a uh, uh, weather condition aberrant aberrant uh, condition i am making this column aberrant condition and second column what is the problem in this condition and what is the contingency plan contingency plan so first uh, uh, maybe that delayed monsoon monsoon is delayed normally it uh, enter in our country by 1st june and then it uh, uh, spread over the country and in the month of june or by the first week of july it is uh, over the country so if it is suppose delayed so problem is that sowing is delayed so short window for sowing short time or short window this विंडो इज नोन एज शॉर्ट टाइम फॉर सोइंग अगर मानसून देर से आएगा जनरली एक जून से अपने कंट्री मानसून शुरू हो जाता है और जून तक पूरी कंट्री जुलाई फर्स्ट वीक तक पूरी कंट्री में आ जाता है अगर मानसून लेट हो जाएगा तो इन रेनफेड एरिया द टेलेज ऑपरेशन सोइंग ऑपरेशन टोटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द रेनफॉल सो शॉर्ट टाइम फॉर सोइंग एंड सोइंग इज डिलेड तो सोइंग इज ऑल्सो डिलेड एंड डिले इन सोइंग दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम first is is the delay in sowing second only short time uh, 
uh, available for sowing because the length of the growing season become short. So these are the two problems. So contingency planning is that if there is a delay in sowing, suppose, uh, suppose uh, monsoon is delayed by one to two weeks, then our contingency planning is change the variety, change the variety and take short duration variety. But if it is uh, delay is more than two weeks, then change the crop, short duration crop. And a short duration crop uh, like uh, moong bean, uh, moong bean, cow pea, sesame, these are, uh, these are very uh, uh, short duration crop, cluster bean can be grown. So it depends upon the what is the duration or what, how much it is delay. So it, it is done. And if it is, uh, then another is that because only short time is available, monsoon already delayed and sowing going to be delayed. So we have to uh, prepare the field and sowing uh, in quick uh, time. So that's why the implements, sowing implements and tillage implements, tillage and uh, sowing implements availability on hiring basis. Sowing implements on hiring, custom hiring basis so that uh, uh, sowing can be done. For example, in case of groundnut uh, planter is available. Uh, which place the groundnut seed in moist zone uh, and maintain the uh, spacing uh, seed to seed spacing. So this is the contingency plan. So in such situation, because delay has been monsoon and time has been reduced, so custom basis, pe, community basis, it will be hired to be hired. That some people will open a community center, a hiring center, where they can implement it quickly and do it quickly. So this is the uh, plan for the delayed sowing. और इसमें जो हम ये कर सकते हैं कि शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन क्रॉप को ज़्यादा प्रिफर करें ताकि वो जल्दी से सीजन को कैच कर ले क्योंकि सीजन जो है खरीफ सीजन की जो लेंथ है वो कम होती जा रही है सो दिस इज़ दी इम्पॉर्टेंट कंटिन्यूसी प्लान अनदर इज़ दैट इफ वी आर सपोज वी आर ग्रोइंग द राइस क्रॉप देन कम्युनिटी नर्सरी grow community nursery at a place where water is available near pond and rain water is harvested and pond is maintained and water is stored and then grow community nursery then we can go for transplanting so this is another uh, method to adjust the sowing time another is that uh, we can uh, go for a wide space uh, wide spacing of crop uh, rather than normal sowing so that uh, next season crop can be sown in between the rows so for example groundnut is sown uh, 30 centimeter but now it is sown at wide space so wide space sowing it is done to adjust the next uh, crop so it is 45 centimeter so it is the wide normally it is suppose 30 centimeter now it is 45 centimeter so before the harvesting of groundnut, the another crop can be planted in Ravi season. So it is a type of relay system. Relay cropping system is can be done if we use such type of uh, spacing. So to if it is done only in those area where uh, double cropping is possible or Ravi crops are grown, so that Ravi sowing is not delayed. So this is the very important uh, method and. Then another is uh, oh sorry, no the aberrant weather condition, condition problem and the plan contingency plan. So another condition is that monsoon is normal, it's timely, timely but there are dry spell so dry spell are there and this dry spell may be early season dry spell or maybe mid season dry spell and maybe late season dry spell so arrival is timely but dry spells are there so in early season dry spell and mid season okay in early season dry spell problem is that this spell uh, uh, 
occur just after sowing of the crop so emergence is affected and the establishment of the crop is affected so plant population is poor plant population is less poor plant population so ultimately yield is affected because moisture is not available for the growth now the plan is that if uh, we can go for the re-sowing re-sowing because it is early season uh, dry spell so we, uh, we we can prepare field again with the onset of rains or maybe gap filling or maybe a weed control so these are the con uh, contingency plan uh, to maintain the population and it may be that the if population is poor then other crop can be sown in between uh, these uh, crop for example in case of cotton so cotton population is suppose poor this is the cotton population then and it is patchy poor plant population then we can sow another crop in between or for example uh, this another crop this another crop is for example castor green color is castor and blue color is cotton so that's why this is a uh, we can maintain two crops if there is rainfall but after the receipt of rainfall situation is that we sowing sowing and it and crop is not very established and it is not very good but the evident weather condition is not in case we can put cotton in the castor so this is the uh, contingency plan another is a mid season uh, drought or yeah, mid season sorry uh, we can say uh, mid season uh, dry spell okay so if it is mid season means it occur at vegetative stage it is vegetative stage of the crop in general it occur after 30 days or 40 days or 50 days after sowing then crop are in maximum vegetative stage canopy is there and maximum nutrient requirement maximum water requirement so maximum damage is at this stage because we cannot go for the re-sowing or gap filling or any other crop uh, sowing so that's why we have to use many uh, practices and these practices are known as mid-season correction mid-season correction so problem is that vegetative stage is affected so the contingency plan or the practices which are used to overcome the adverse effect known as mid-season correction and the important mid-season correction are number one and at this stage moisture is not available to the crop and we have to enhance the availability of the stored soil moisture or to conserve the uh, moisture so contingency plan important uh, one is that uh, at this stage we have to conserve the moisture so as a situation mein, crop ki growth bahut jyada aur soil moisture bhi hume conserve karna hai to humko bahut sari practice karni padengi aur inhi ko hum mid season correction kehte hain to mid season correction kaha hote hain jab mid season dry spell hote hain uh, uh, early season dry spell mein or late season dry spell mein mid season correction nahi hote hain to aisi situation mein humko jo practice karni hai we have to reduce the population so thinning because water is lost through ET so we have to reduce the ET our uh, focus is in reduction of ET so thinning of the plants so weak plants a diseased plant infected plants are removed so every second row third row or fifth row can be uh, thinned out so we can remove the plant population the second row so that the plant population can be reduced the second is stripping of removal of lower leaves actually lower leaves uh, do not contribute in photosynthesis that's why we can remove lower leaves and third one is the mulch mulch are very effective in soil conservation Oh, sorry, soil moisture conservation, organic mulch, extra we can use kar sakte hai, mulch ko, uh, kar sakte hai. weed control because weed uh, remove the water through uh, transpiration. So, hand weeding, hoeing, etc., are done to control the weeds. Then, next uh, practice may be use of anti transparent. There are different type of anti transparents which are used. Uh, like stomata closing type, PMA atrazine, uh, reflecting type, coelin, film forming uh, 
type hexadecanol and growth retardant type cyclosyl. So there are four type of uh, antitranspirant and we can use in this situation we have to reduce the transpiration then maybe supplemental irrigation but it is possible only if we, we have stored the moisture and uh, conserve the moisture by making pond and tank. So in advance we have to make a water harvesting structure. So in this case water harvesting structure are very important for supplemental irrigation of or life saving irrigation. So if there are water harvesting structure then we can give supplemental or life saving irrigation. Then at this time uh, plants need uh, nutrients to maintain their growth and to maintain the water balance. So at this time the nutrient foliar spray nutrient application through foliar spray because in soil moisture is not available so there is no absorption nutrient through root so foliar spray very good so urea 2% spray potassium nitrate actually potassium help in uh, water regulation stomata opening and closing so potassium spray is very important then boron spray zinc uh, magnesium sulfate spray zinc sulfate spray these spray are very important thio urea spray is very effective two percent so this is the uh, to maintain the nutrient uh, status in the plant then uh, we can uh, use the uh, conservation furrow in conservation furrow uh, actually the furrows are made between the rows so that whenever uh, there is a rain after the dry spell it will conserve the moisture and it increases the rainfall water use efficiency so if it is widely spaced crop like pgnp so this furrow can be opened after um, between the two rows and if it is closely spaced like soybean uh, for 30 centimeter then after four row or five row this furrow can be opened so that uh, water is conserved then uh, we can use the if a crop is suppose like finger millet which can be used for retuning purpose so we can go for retuning it is only those crop uh, which have uh, resumed their growth which have retaining ability uh, like finger millet so finger millet uh, it is uh, first uh, harvest finger millet for fodder purpose and then after the rain it resume its growth and can be used for uh, grain purpose so these are the important uh, we can say the practices uh, or contingency plan uh, if there is a dry spell in mid season so these are known as mid season corrections then another condition is that another condition is that uh, the dry spell, a uh, late season dry spell, late season dry spell. So this dry spell occur at reproductive stage. So it is the grain filling stage actually. So this grain filling is affected to yield is poor. So all the practices which are of mid season correction, mostly those practices are done and the focus is ET, how to reduce the ET. So by mulch, by, by mulching, by anti-transparent, so, but not the right Some practices are not adapted and we can go for mulch, mulch application, mulch application, uh, anti-transparent, weed control, these are very uh, important, supplemental irrigation. And thinning of uh, removal of uh, weak plant removal of weak plants and if uh, it is intercropping system then the moisture sensitive crop uh, can be removed and uh, if it is uh, uh, at a soft or a hard of stage then crop can be harvested and if it is possible then uh, we can harvest the crop uh, and then dry it so this are the some uh, practices to reduce the ET 
and the another condition the first one was was delayed monsoon second was early uh, sorry timely monsoon but dry spell and the third one is the early withdraw of monsoon early withdraw of monsoon and this condition means uh, monsoon is withdrawing first week or second week of september and this condition is similar to late season uh, dry spell so same problem so we have to adopt the same practices and the fourth one may be the uh, late withdraw of monsoon late withdraw of monsoon actually this if there is a late withdraw of monsoon in october so it is not the problem it is the good situation for uh, that the moisture is available moisture is available for ravi season so it is not the problem moisture is available for ravi season or winter season so now we have to use this moisture for the sowing of ravi crop so we can uh, use the uh, ravi sowing so we have to conserve the this uh, soil uh, moisture because rains are late barish late tak chali gayi october tak to soil moisture rahega to hum ravi crop ko go, uh, grow kar sakte hain to kaun si grow karenge jo short duration hongi short duration short duration crop because ravi season are long and temperature is low to short duration crop pulse short duration pulse or uh, sorghum can be grown then uh, we have to conserve the moisture so minimum tillage is essential to maintain the moisture minimum tillage and mulch tillage and if weeds appear then control the weeds because of the moisture there will be some appearance of the weeds so initially control the weeds so double cropping is possible so here double cropping so double cropping is possible if there is a late so it is a contingency plan to take the ravi crop but with the field preparation so that moisture is maintained short duration and the weed control so these are the very uh, important contingency crop planning uh, in rain fed areas and if moisture is going to be low and then we can place the seed in moist zone by the seed drill so use the seed drill uh, if, uh, we, uh, if we have the ravi sowing crop and this seed drill place the seed in moist zone so that there is proper emergence and germination so there are four uh, aberrant uh, weather condition we discussed delayed monsoon timely monsoon but dry spell third one uh, the early withdraw of monsoon and fourth one is late withdraw so each uh, weather condition has different type of problem so that's why we make a different type of plan accordingly so this is the modification now this is the modification in cultivation practices to overcome the adverse effect of this adverse effect of this aberrant weather condition so this is a modification in cultivation practice this is a modification we modify our sowing tillage irrigation to overcome the adverse effect of this weather condition and this is the contingency crop planning so but this is location specific remember that it vary from location to location because this situation are different from location to location that's why we have to make different type of plan so this is the contingency crop planning for uh, rain fed areas thank you very much